Hi guys, how you all doing? I just wanted to make this little video for you because thanks to your help, we have received this from YouTube. So it's a silver plaque, silver play button actually, because we have got 100,000 subscribers. Actually, we've only just received this and already we're on about 144,000 subscribers. But if you actually look down on our channel, you'll be able to see exactly the number. But yeah, wanna thank you for all your support. Basically, I wanna get some feedback from you lot. I wanna know the kind of videos that you'd like to see us doing, um, what you think that's good about the current videos that we do, what you'd like us to do differently, potentially any kind of cars that you'd like us to review or maybe video ideas. Please put them in the comments box. I read every single comment. I don't reply on them all because that would take me forever, but I do read them all, even the hurtful ones, the ones that say that, well, maybe 4K isn't that flattering because, yes, it shows up all my wrinkles. Also, <laughs> it sometimes shows up the fact that I have trouble seeing without glasses on, so you probably notice in some videos I have been wearing glasses. Should I do reviews in glasses? Maybe it could be a thing. Maybe I should start reviewing other things, such as, look, I've got a new MacBook here, so maybe you'd like a review on that. I don't know. Anyway, if you've been following us for a while, you might know that there's several kinds of different reviews that I do. So the main backbone of our reviews are the ones where I walk around the car and in those videos I do those five good things about the car and five bad things. And actually when we first did our very early reviews, I think it was a Kia Sportage, we just did the five good things and someone commented and said, listen Matt, that seems a little bit like an advert, a bit biased. So we added in the five negative things as well. So we do listen to your comments and we do incorporate them. So as well as those normal videos that we shoot in the UK at our test track, we also do those individual practicality, infotainment and 360 degree videos. Now, some of you guys might be thinking, you know, why don't you include that in the normal review? They make the normal video too long. They give detail to people who come to our site at carwow.co.uk. So people who are on the site want some information, want some guidance on what cars to buy. And if you're looking for a new car, you're gonna want that extra detail. And that brings you on to the 360 videos. So those numbers are quite small, but they are very easy videos for us to film. They take about as long as it does for me to say the words. Now, I think some people don't fully know how to use them. I don't want to teach you how to suck eggs or anything, but you're best watching it on your mobile phone. Make sure you've got a good signal so you get it in HD, and then you just move your phone around and you can look around the car. I think a lot of people get it, but still some people don't. If you're on a browser, you have to use uh, the cursor to move around and look around the car. But if you're on Safari, it just doesn't work at all. So, sorry about that. But like I say, they're very easy to do. So let's know what you think of them. Is there a better way we could do them? Have you seen some other examples of 360 videos which we could incorporate? Or, or maybe you just wish we'd sack them off. Although, to be fair, if you don't want to watch them, you don't have to. So that's your main videos that we do as a batch. Now, when I get the cars in, I usually get them in groups of three. So, for instance, we did the Mercedes E-Class. We also got in the BMW 5 Series and the Audi A6. Because I've got all the cars together, I can really compare them back to back. So when I'm doing the individual videos, I can give you a very informed opinion on the car and how it compares to its rivals. But it also lets us do these head-to-head -head videos where we compare the three cars in the class. Now, on top of those, you've probably seen me do reviews, which don't feel like the normal reviews. So when a manufacturer launches a new car, before they bring it to the UK, they'll have an international launch. And this will usually be in somewhere in Europe, in a nice picturesque place, which looks good for photography and filming, and has some decent roads. So I'll fly out, film all day, and then fly back in that evening. I try to tell more of a story with the car, and the most recent one I did was the Audi Q5 video. So if you thought that was a little bit different to the normal reviews I do, don't worry. When that Q5 is available in the UK, we will do our full normal review with the walk around, the five good points, the five bad points, the individual infotainment and practicality videos, and the 360 as well. So those are the main types of reviews that we do. But then there's some other videos as well, which you might have noticed, our top 10 guides. So before a car even gets launched, it's revealed to the public. Our manufacturers will often release some video footage of it or we'll go out and film the car static on a show stand and then I'll give you 10 points of things you need to know about that car. But because I haven't driven it, I haven't spent a lot of time with it, it's not a review. I can't really give you an informed opinion on the car and what it's like to drive. Final type of video are the vlogs. Things like this where I'm just talking to you guys and I've been keeping you updated on the progress of my Porsche 911 996. 
and I filmed it, well, when I bought it, I filmed it when it got roof damaged and I filmed it when the roof was fixed. And now there's some other videos coming out on it soon because I'm, I'm upgrading it to make it a better car to drive. So they'll be coming out soon. There's also some other vlog videos of some other cars we're getting. One that you're really gonna love. It's a really exciting car. The other I really love, but it's a bit of a crap car. And well, <laughs> it's so crap, it's actually cool. Now, I'll be doing a video on that very, very shortly, so you'll find out more about that soon. So, there we go. That is basically our reviews, videos, in a nutshell. But like I said at the beginning, please, I want to know what you guys think. I want some feedback. I want to hear about what videos you'd like to see, what cars you'd like to see, things we could do better, differently, ways of shooting the cars. I want to keep this as fresh as possible. I don't want it to feel samey. Obviously the reviews need to have a certain structure because they've got to be guides for people who are actually wanting to buy a car. That's why we do this. Anyway, so yeah, thank you very much once again for helping us achieve this. 100,000 subscribers and this silver play button. We want to get to a million. We want the gold play button. And yeah, so if you stick with us, hopefully we can grow this channel fast and make it even bigger and better. And the bigger and better it gets, the more cars we can get and the more videos you can see and yeah should all be good. So once again, thank you very much and I'll be speaking to you soon. Yeah, I'm attached. I'm attached to my mic. I can look at this, right? So you see that? We've had to fix so many of these mics, put these little sheaths on the top because I constantly destroy them. I screw them up, put them in my pocket and then like the cameraman's going, Matt, I can't hear you. It's all crackly and that's because I damaged so many of these. So yeah, we have quite a lot of collateral damage on a car wow shoot. We've been through a camera, lost various parts, and there's other bits and bobs that have gone wrong as well. They will be coming out. You'll see some of that in some of our bloopers videos which are coming out soon. Oh, just need to sign off. Thanks for watching.